So shoulder, people with torn rotator cuffs or just shoulder problems in general, um, and they go to you and you do some injection therapy. Tell me a little bit about that and how it works and what are the results like? The shoulder results are pretty good. Actually, you don't even have to go to the stem cells. We start with the regular injections with the local anesthetic itself and sometimes we add steroids, then we increase their activity status, to give them a structured exercise program, also give them anti-inflammatory agents if necessary and see how they do. Majority of the times they don't need that many injections except the chronic pain patients who are elderly and have arthritis again there, degenerative arthritis, they need more regular treatments, but younger folks, they don't need that many and then okay. they go fine and they start exercising, go back to work and start doing their activities. Now, is this one of those things where early intervention is best? That means when should somebody consider an injection if they have a bad shoulder? It is about six weeks or so after the onset of the pain and you have tried simple things such as over-the-counter medication, let it be Tylenol or ibuprofen or Aleve, and if they don't work, then you can consider the injection. Consider the injections. Um, and, uh, and, and the pain goes, so for some people the pain goes away permanently? Yes. For some people, yes. is that right? And, uh, and, and some of these, so, so they could come in like once every six months, once a year, and get but the shoulder again? injections such as that, and unless they have other problems like back pain, neck pain, etc., once they get better, we don't even give them another appointment. They can return if they desire to, if the pain comes back after six, whenever they want to. We call it PRN basis. And, and this isn't painful. These injections aren't painful for the patient, No, the majority of these injections are done, uh, if you go to an orthopedic surgeon, they do them just in the office, uh, whereas we do them under fluoroscopy. We do them much more carefully. So you do a scope, you're looking yes. at a monitor to go directly into the area. And we also inject contrast to see that how that joint is filling with the medicine and if like if they we are injecting into the rotator cuff, we want to identify that area where we are injecting. So we do it a little bit more carefully than general. I'm not saying Are you being politically correct? I mean this is the only way you should probably do it is under scope. Uh that's correct, but you believe uh, that? it is done, majority of them are done without scope. Because I so. know guys in LA, things like that, and basically if somebody's sore, they're just, inje I guess they have their areas, but they're not looking at any imaging, they're just injecting well, that's correct. the area. And I would say 90%, over 90% of the t shoulder injections are accurate even if when you do them blindly because you're focusing on the pain where it is coming from, inflamed area, so you just go there and ask the patient where you're hurting, and when you hurt, you put the medicine, it goes away, that is the sign. But if you're doing it under scope, you can literally go right into the area. Right, not only that right into sense. the area, we can see how it is filling, if there is any obstruction, and we are able to see multiple things, and then we immediately start making them exercise immediately. As soon as we do the injection, the, they cannot move the shoulder before, but now they can move and scratch their back or put, put over the head, and they can do a lot of things. Are they ever surprised? Like you do oh, an injection, very and go, wait a minute, no pain. Oh yeah, they're very surprised. Some of them are really, really surprised.